My special guest is also a very, very highly sought after speaker in both real estate investing and software solutions. With that, a special welcome to my friend and special guest, Mr. Robert Seifert. Robert, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Jay. And that probably was the best introduction I've ever had before. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many podcasts have you been on? <laughs> I have been on a lot and that by far was the best <laughs> intro I've ever heard. <laughs> Well, that's I great. Well, and, send it to everybody. <laughs> at, at, at least I was able to tell the truth about you. We'll at least say yeah. that, right? <laughs> I, I appreciate that kindly. And it was all true. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I absolutely <laughs> love it. That was great. Thank well, you. Well, Robert, we can't Thank wait. You. We can't wait to hear about like creating time out of thin air, how to really put our business on automatic, how to use software to really help us run our business instead of our business running us. But before you uh, spill the beans on your expertise on using software and tools that, you know, enable us to achieve that as real estate investors, uh, are you ready? You got your seatbelt on. I'm always ready. All right. Awesome. Like my good friend, Miss Bueller Rayner, who lived to be 102 and a half. She used to always say, Jay, I'm sitting on ready. So here we go. So, uh, what got you into real estate, Robert? Man, this is uh, to give the shortest version of the story. I wanted to do real estate since I was 18 years old, and saw a Russ Whitney commercial um, about if his family just had another house, how much better the life would be. And then I spent well over a decade not doing real estate, but wishing I could, and thought about it, and studied it, and learned it. Um, so I always wanted to do it. Went to a rich dad poor dad seminar. Um, and just found myself never taking the actions. A lot of fears held me back until I finally probably hit the worst time of my life financially, um, had no money, facing eviction, uh, major surgeries for my wife the year before, and decided that it was finally time to go all into real estate um, and, and go after my dreams versus uh, worrying about all the fears that I have that I believe led me to where I was in the worst place I could be. Ooh, there went my lighting. Um, so that's, uh, in, in short, I got started in real estate because I always wanted to. And I finally shifted my mindset from being in fear all the time to just taking action and, uh, and learning from there and, and moving forward. And, and, you know, the rest is history. As far as I speak, I've never done anything but real estate since that moment. What year did you start? Uh, so full time that, that, Eclipse moment was 2013, I want to say. And a couple of years before that, I was kind of like trying to part time do it and figure it out and never getting anywhere, not getting any deals done, um, you know, studying another thing. And let me send out a bandit sign thing and get phone calls, but can't sell them or make money. And then finally, uh, a ment mentor of mine in my business actually said, you know, you're just trying to chase two things at the same time. Um, and that, that was like a light bulb moment that was like, I get it. I, I think he meant for me to work 100% on the career I was at. Um, but I took it as this is why the real estate thing never worked. I need to quit working everything else and go all into real estate. Not recommending that to anyone, but that's what worked for me. <laughs> so did you focus on um, starting out in single family houses or commercial or what kind of real estate? I mean, self storage, land. I mean, there's all kinds. Yeah, there is all kinds. I actually learned that was one of my fears that held me back. A rich dad, poor dad seminar opened my eyes to 30 different ways you could make money. And I said, oh, okay, now I got to decide. For, for me, it was single family. I always had a passion for the single family. Um, so I got started in single family and not knowing the terms back then, um, I started off wholesaling and primarily focused on rental properties. Gotcha. So what does your organization look like today? So the real estate business itself, the buying and selling of homes, I'm actually uh, ironically built it to a point that I'm, I'm, I'm currently in the middle of selling that business. Um, and I've sold parts of it here and there throughout the years as I built a software company and services business. Um, so I had built a massive turnkey operation that had property management businesses, rehab divisions. Um, currently that operation no longer, I sold all the property management business a couple of years ago. 
Uh, we currently have, I want to say around 10 to 12 people in the office here in Tampa. Uh, we do some rehabs, we do some wholesales, we do some wholetail, we refer out our in-house realtor, um, but I'm selling that business to my partner. And I'll still continue to do real estate, but more on the on the lower scale. I have a niece that I'm teaching. She's learning commercial and driving for dollars and we'll flip a house here and there just for the fun of it. But that'll be, that'll be my buying and selling part of what I do. You sort of touched on it a little bit, but let's dive down. What were some of your early struggles when you were starting out and uh, the lessons learned that uh, our viewers and listeners can uh, learn from your early struggles? Yeah, I think the, the biggest takeaway that everyone can have, no matter where you're at and starting out is right here. It's between your six inches between your ears. Um, and why I say that is no matter what level you're at, your mindset is the only thing that's holding you back from the next place you want to go. So whether that's your first deal, your hundredth deal, your 10,000th deal, your, your mind is the only thing preventing you from getting there. Um, so face those, be aware that there are fears that are holding you back and they're usually your own self-limiting beliefs. Um, and if you dive into that um, and spend your time there, I, generally you'll find that it's something in your childhood, your life or an experience that's preventing you. At least that's been my experience that's held me back. And as soon as you're ready to face that, doors tend to start opening and the things that you need, want, um, and that will progress you. Now from the business side of it, uh, you know, some things are, you answered it right in the beginning of your show, the, the fear of, uh, oh, well, I could find deals, but I'm not going to have any money. Well, go get Jay's free book and there you go. Problem solved. I didn't have that option back then. Finding money was a problem. So I wholesaled everything just to make money until I figured out how to do private money. Um, so again, don't let your mind hold you back on that. But you also have a head start with his book <laughs> to answer that question for you. Um, some of the other things were, you know, I thought for some reason I was going to get into real estate and just have all this magical time with my family and there's so much millions made and it wouldn't be hard work. Um, and I found out it was a whole lot of hard work and I worked more hours than I ever did before working for someone else. Um, and so some of those were the hard lessons along the way was figuring out what I didn't need to do and what I could outsource to other people. Right. I, I came from the background of no one could do it better than me, hustle harder kind of stuff. So I always try to do everything and you, 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 you just run into a brick wall. I made a lot of money and I had no time. Um, so then I had to flip that and say, OK, I don't need to do all this stuff. There's a lot of simple stuff that a very inexpensive VA could do. There's stuff that software automates and makes it get done for me without my my need or know how. And there's just a bunch of stuff that is keeping me busy, but really doesn't even need to get done. Um, so th those were a lot of the hard lessons and the things that you, you know, I would say in the beginning, again, it still comes down to your mindset and hire sooner than you think you need to for any, even if it's as simple as a hundred dollar a week VA that just does all your paperwork for you, right? If you, if you hate doing paperwork, um, as an example. Mm -hmm.